Hello everybody, Josh12 back here again with another video, and I'm here to give you my official review for Marvel's Netflix series, Daredevil. Yes, I'm here to give you my official review for part one and part two of the Daredevil season two trailers. Yes, we got part one uh, a little while ago in this month, and now we just got the release of part two for the trailer of Daredevil season two, and I'm here to give you my personal thoughts and official review for both trailers. So of course spoilers if you have yet to see part one and part two of Marvel's Daredevil season two. But that being said and done let's get into the trailers. Now part one definitely centers around the uh, the battles and the interconnections of both mythos of Daredevil and Punisher. We're definitely getting into the idealistic uh, methods between both characters. Punisher is all about, you know, just taking down criminals for good and Daredevil is the complete opposite. They both want the same thing. Their methods of going at it is very different and Hell's Kitchen, as it's said in the trailer, is about to explode and shit is about to get crazy and Punisher taken no names. He's basically freaking De Niro in a Scorsese film about to take shit down and I'm personally very excited to see what John Berthaw brings to the Punisher character in Daredevil Season 2. But now we get into Part 2 of the trailers, we get to see the other half of what the scope of Daredevil Season 2 is all about. It's not only just going to be Daredevil versus Punisher, it's not just going to be Frank Castle's um, ideals uh, versus Matt Murdock's ideals and, and you know beliefs and philosophies. It's also about the hand. It's about the Yakuza. It's about this other force of nature that's about to take down Hell's Kitchen along with Elektra. And Elektra's in this whole thing. And f from what we've gathered in this season, uh, season trailer rather, uh, I'm guessing that Elektra's definitely going to be in between both good guy and bad guy. I feel like she's going to be like the Catwoman of Daredevil uh, Netflix universe, which is, I guess, the best way you can go out with Elektra seeing how she is kind of like that. They're both very messed up individuals who have their own specific views on things. And they obviously are, you know, a, lo a lovey, dovey kind of couple so it is expected that they will have some connections together on a more serious note other than just being like I'm the good guy and you're kind of a bad guy but we can work together for this specific thing so it's going to be interesting how that goes and overall the look of what uh, Netflix has brought and what Marvel's you know putting in looks amazing the style is definitely connecting very well with last season which I feel was a masterpiece of a season a TV show if you will Daredevil season one was just amazing and I can only expect um you know even greater things from season two and from what I've seen we are getting that I mean the Punisher definitely looks badass and a lot more dramatic than how we've seen him in previous ventures in the movies and well, on top of that, we get Elektra kicking ass and, you know, taking names and Daredevil's suit looks amazing. I mean, like, if you've had qualms with the suit last season in the in the finale episode, then this trailer at least will hopefully, you know, bring you back down to earth and hopefully make you feel better about Daredevil's new suit, which is, I guess, in my personal opinion, looks a lot better from the previous finale episode from last season but at the end of the day these trailers were great part one was awesome it was very dark and chaotic and part two is just a lot more fun yet a lot more interesting and it's really interesting just on a more serious note to just understand the logistics of every character's philosophy you know you have matt murdoch who's very religious but who really wants to create a new you know, world for a city, and then you have Elektra and, and what she's bringing in, and you have Punisher and his methods of taking out criminals, and you have, you know, Daredevil's team and how they're dealing with the fact that they know who Daredevil really is and Matt Murdock's, you know, you know, way of life and stuff. It's really interesting to see those friendships kind of crumble at their feet at the same time. It's just really awesome to see all these other you know, characters deal with this stuff, and it's just, in my personal opinion, I'm just super stoked and hyped for this, I want to see Daredevil Season 2, it will be coming out very soon, next month in March, if I'm not mistaken, March 18th is when the entire season will be out, so be on the lookout for that, but at the end of the day, let's get into my final verdict for Part 1 and Part 2, Part 1, I give a solid 9 out of 10, 
And part two, I give the same rating. It's so freaking good. It's awesome. It's epic. It's everything I would want from Daredevil Season 2. And I haven't even seen the show already. But on that note, let me know what you personally thought about part one and part two of the Daredevil Season 2 trailers in the comments section below. And also, on more Netflix show, I guess, news, if you will, we got some interesting news regarding the character of Iron Fist. Yes, Marvel apparently... And I don't know if it's officially confirmed yet, but apparently actor Finn Jones, who is most notably known from the Game of Thrones universe as Sir Loris of, you know, HBO's Game of Thrones, um, is essentially will be taking on the role of the martial artist superhero Iron Fist. So, yeah, that's going to be some interesting stuff. Iron Fist is obviously another Marvel Netflix show that will be coming out post... Um, I, I think Luke Cage, so after Season 2 is done and Jessica Jones Season 2 is done and Luke Cage is done, we will get Iron Fist, which is a show I'm definitely looking forward to. I don't know if Finn Jones is the perfect choice for said character, but let me know what you personally think about it in the comments section below. I'm just saying, I saw Sir Loris do stuff on Game of Thrones. He did, He's not really that impressive of a character, so hopefully he can bring something really cool to uh, the... Netflix universe of Marvel so because Iron Fist is a show I'm definitely looking forward to and he's a badass so let's see what happens but at the end of the day comment below and let me know what you all think about Marvel's Netflix series the universe of Marvel Netflix Daredevil season 2 so on and so forth and of course Iron Fist let me know but shameless plug time follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh12 subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hope you guys enjoyed and this has been Josh12